So I'm here at the art center and I wandered into this shop because this painting drew me in. I have my eye on this. But as usual, I want to share my joy. So I thought I would speak to the artist who's also the shop owner and find out about some more of the paintings in case any of you want any. Place your orders with me and then I'll bring it back for you. So, can you tell me what the inspiration is behind this painting? Well, first tell me your name, I'm sorry. Okay, so my name is Eddie. My, my last name is Matthew, so that's my signature name on my What's your piece. local name? Mati. Mati? Mati. It, it's a gun. It's a gun name for okay. my tribe. Okay. One of the tribes. All so, right. Edward Mati Mati. And Mati is the signature. Mati. Okay. So what inspired that? So you can see I paint more of lady stars. Uh -huh. Because I believe in what the ladies do. Okay. In this country. Yeah. The way they are so. I think there are more ladies asking at our local market than the male. Oh yes. Yes. And my aunt who raised me up is one painter in spice language because she used to work and sell in this local market. So I paint market stuff more. Oh, okay. And I like to depict what the ladies go through because there is a single parent a single wife, uh, sisters, mm -hmm. our own sisters and stuff like that, who go through a lot of stuff throughout the day just to make money. So this... I like that one, the market yes. one. So she can be a single mother who needs to hustle every day. Yeah, six you, days a week. Yes, six days a week, sometimes even seven. Mm. They have to go through it, rain or shine. No matter what, yeah. they need to make that money to feed maybe that single child. It might be two, or we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So this is just a, a, a depiction of the market women. And this shows how beautiful the market women are. Ah, as well. Yes, I like to use the fabric because I don't want it to look too foreign. I like it to look local. Yes. This is Ghanaian stuff. It yeah. needs to look Ghanaian. Right. It needs to be happy. That's right. yeah, I could have choose to use paint, but then it becomes common with what everyone is painting. Gotcha. And so I switch to this style more, so that everything will look local and people will know you bought from Africa, Ghana. That's right. So I mix with the, the, the African textiles, so it looks beautiful. And you that's know, that's my favorite print, actually. That's that's called uh, a bar. That's collage. Oh, collage, or you can call it mixed media because it's made of acrylic and our local textiles. Oh, yes. okay. So this is acrylic and local textiles on canvas. Okay. Yes. What so, about this one? This, one too. this is a new style I developed just this year. Just this year. So what does this the mask represent? The mask represents, um, let's say, the spirit or the mentality we have behind everything we do. Um, when you watch some of the YouTube videos, they say it's called positive vibration. It's called what? Vibration. Mm -hmm. Yes. We also know about the vibration, but maybe we have different knowledge about how to vibrate to attract something to yourself mm. in African terms. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So we connect more to the Asian and believe more in the Asian ancestor. You know, when maybe your mom or your grandfather or your great grand something dies, they fight for you spiritually. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. Yeah. I so we connect to them. It's okay. Maybe my grandma who is dead somehow, ah, or my Asian forefathers dead somehow, ah, is fighting for me. So when you're praying or vibrating, trying to attract something, you okay, I want this, I want that. Mm -hmm. yes. So the max is just there to talk about how we vibrate. Ah, okay. Yes. okay. Because all these marks and sculptures you see are things that are from created from our forefathers, our Asian ones. They brought this, we are only copying from them and continuing what they started. Mm -hmm. This isn't new. This 
I started doing this type of thing. Yeah, I've been doing this. So I like these. I see this thing. These are same connected to this. These are fused, I believe. Oh, serious? Yeah, these are fused. Oh, yes. this one right here. Oh, so, so these have these, tattoos. This one, yeah. <laughs> I like them. This one, I call it Duke. You know, it's a scarf that we put on the face. And so everything there is 3D, including even oh. the necklace. You can feel it. Oh, okay. Yes. Wow. The earrings, everything is pretty popping up. And nowadays, the ladies don't tattoo more. But recently, African ladies had more tattoo on them. It was like a mask, just to give you a mark on okay. your body. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so, you painted everything in the shop? I painted 90% of things here. Wow. And so, um, one other one. This scene here. Okay, this one? Yes, this is just the beach market. Immediately the fishermen come back from fishing. You have to rush there. Other than that, then better fishes are. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> the people do retail business with the fishing, so they buy it cheaper from the shop. Which beach is this? It can be any beach at all that okay. you want. Okay. It can be Kokuro Beach, it can be Jamestown Beach, it can be anywhere. Beaches are always like that, they are beautiful. And we have the Angle I come to, like I explained to you. We assist each other. Oh, oh yeah, I like the Angle. Okay. When cars weren't like common nowadays, this is the kind of transport that we use to run. I really like this one too. Yeah. And they always write something. People write different kind of things. And they transport it from villages to the city or from the city to the village. Now I see why artists are inspired by um, the scenes because a lot of the a lot of the art is, is, is light. It's light. It's light here in Ghana. And things, and when I see it, like, like this, the ocean, the market, you know, it's appealing to me. So I can understand my artists. You know. Then the reason why I don't want to really divert from it is because most of the Asian stories are dying. People are painting what they call nowadays. Contemporary art is more figurative mm -hmm. with black faces. With... Yeah, yeah. I can do that, but I don't really want to switch from the stories we have in Ghana. People like still that, need yeah. to hear yeah. what we have, the stories or any history that we have. Like we still need to, story. yeah, we still okay. need to put it on canvas. So, so what is this one? This one is the Obertoto Festival. So. I was this on my tutu. This is more of the airways. Okay. The airways is in the western before you get to Togo. Okay. Yes. When they are doing festival, you see the chiefs, somebody carrying pot and fire and someone blowing it on and people dancing going back and forth. I decided to put it in the canvas in an abstract form. Oh, okay. Yes. Have you painted any uh, homo festival? I, think, I, guess, I just went through the homo canvas. It was there and uh, nobody was asking questions about it. Oh, you just moved it? I, I painted it. You painted over it? Oh, wow. I just took a picture with one. It was in right here like two weeks ago. Oh, wow. I think nobody was asking me. It's been there like three years. Oh. I was thinking if it's not really questions and nobody's asking prices about it, then maybe they are not really interested in that. But right now that you've brought the feedback, I will retweet something. Thank you so much for your time. Yes, thank you. And if anybody wants a painting, Please let me know so we can support his work and his vision to continue to tell Ghana's ancient stories. <laughs>